Yo guys, welcome back to Eleanor. This time, it's not AG4N97 anymore. It is a different person. We are now, wait for it. A little spook, yup. I said it. We are now that person. We are changing just the name. We are not changing channels or anything. We're just going to change the name. Even though I hear it's bad to change the name during, you know, whatever. But whatever. It's a whatever thing right now. It, it, I'm still small. Very, very, very small. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so now we are called that instead of AG4 and 97. But anyway, back into the most important thing of why people watch this is the game. Now we are going to go back into Arson, a polite invitation. Uh, last time we were Jack Kelso. And I'm pretty sure we got our ass beat by some mafia dude. But I'm pretty sure we killed them all. I mean, not all of them, but you know, like the people that took us because I'm, I think... I think we dropped all the cars and shit like that because, you know, we're Jack Kelso. We were in the military, in the army, just like our friend. Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Call needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Alicia Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. So too, princess. I'd like that. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. A wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm gonna run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? Oh, there you go. I'm sorry for all that noise making I was doing during the cutscene. I was uh, moving stuff around. I know I should have got it done beforehand, before I did all this amazing stuff, but whatever. It's it's over now. We are now Jack Kesso, and we are going to go after Elysian Fields. And I'm getting landmarks out the ass for some reason. Am I getting all of them? 
What am I doing? What's happening? Why am I getting all of them? Wait, I want to see if I can get all of them. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Might be the only R and R I get for some time. Why am I? Okay, is it done? Yeah, it's done. I don't know why I was getting like so many, so many things. It doesn't make sense. I was just, I just woke up in the hospital and I started getting these little things. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go pay Mr. Benson a minute of our time. What up? Whatever, dude. What we got here? What we got? Oh, our little cop cars all the way over here. All right. Now, let's go pay Curtis. Curtis Benson. See, I could skip it, but why would I want to skip this amazing view? That's not what I wanted to do. Get back. Not that. What am I doing? It's select. It's select. There you go. Location. We are going to Curtis. No, not the medical. Why would we need to go there? We're already there. We are going to Curtis Benson. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go on our merry little way. Anyway, now let's go back into why I changed my name. So basically, what I saw was EG4 in 97. It's it's just not a name I'm familiar with. It's not a name that I I did. I just made up that name like on the spot. There's how you know how other people have names that re reflect to them. Or whatever and I realized you know what why not cuz this AG I don't feel right saying it out loud like AG4 and 97 coming back at you the legendary legendary whatever and it just doesn't fit it doesn't come out the tongue right for me but this name this name I've been hearing uh, maybe since I was a little child which is why they have the little in it <laughs> but yeah that's why I changed it into that one because it, it just has more meaning to me if anything now what is that meaning is I don't you guys I'm not gonna say now. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Okay, I take a left anyway. Anyway, I'm not gonna say now what the meaning is, but maybe later down in the future, maybe, that's a big maybe there, that I'll say it. I'll say what it means to me at least, and why, and why, maybe it'll make more sense back now. But from now, you know, it doesn't matter right now because this channel is very, 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 very small. So it doesn't matter if I change it or not. But we are now at Curtis Benson's apartment. We are going to pay him a little visit. Alright, let's see where this dude down. This dude lives. He lives in apartment two. Right, cool. And then that's one. Upstairs we go. There you go. Two is over this way. Over yonder. Let's knock. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Oh my god, Jack, my face looks all kind of messed no up. There's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Yeah, I pistol whipped the dude. I never got pistol whipped before, but um, he bleed easily. Alright, see what we got here, my man. Oh, I heard something here. 
Oh, it's just a uh, a record player. You hiding drugs in this record player? Huh? I'm Benson. You hiding drugs in here? It has to be drugs. Drugs are everywhere. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I'm not leaving yet. Oh, here we go. What do we got here, hmm? The California and Fire Life Company is considered to the permit of I 11. I you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. 1,105 to be paid per annual insurance. Lens and field developments against all losses or damages occurring to Rancho Esquato. Located at 5650 Fountain Avenue. An amount not exceeding 220. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. $21,000. The California Life and Company has caused these presents to be signed and witnessed by official representative of this on this, the 26th day of February 1947. And there's other stuff that I don't care about. So he's giving out a lot of money to this one. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? All right, cool. We got shareholders here. I don't know what that does, but it does something, apparently. How old are you, princess? 16, mister. How old are you, really? Nearly 13. You take love where you can find it as you get old. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed, you're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. She will only come back. Uh, okay, that's kind of awkward. Awkward moments, awkward moments for everybody involved. That's awkward for everybody in the house. I mean, I don't know how to... I don't know how... I don't know what to say. Anyway, let's go talk to Mr. Curtis over here. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Uh, motive for fraud. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Dear boy. That's a lie. You're making money off of this somehow. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? That's fraud. <laughs> That's fraud, I think. Your share certificates. Uh, 4,000 shares out of 1,000 each made out to Curtis Benson. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Yes, we shall. Anyway, sir, I could never say this. I've been saying it for, like, whatever, however they've been saying it. I think it's been the arson case. I can't say it. Suburb, suburban, I think it's a redevelopment fund. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Boom. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. 
You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. That's a lie again. God, he's like, why can't these people? Why can't they just tell the truth for once? It's, it was, is it really that hard? No. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? From your insurance agreement? Duh. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Butch, Butch Water case element. I think that was a dude we uh, investigated last time to find out that there was fraud. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Wow. So they would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for these three meddling kids over here. And all we need is a... There's four. We need another girl. And we need a dog. I wonder who that other girl and dog is going to be, huh? I really do. Because it... Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Well, I'm glad we did that whole little thing over here. You know, Phelps MLB main thing. How is he the best? I mean, like, what is it, 1940s? I think you're over exaggerating over here, dude. We we're not even close to anywhere else. So, calling him the best, maybe as of now? I mean, maybe. Yeah, I think even that's a stretch. I think even that's a stretch for you. Copes, I don't think he's a the all to be all over here from the cops thing, but he is something. I'll give you that. He is something. Okay, okay. Come on, you scratched me, California boy. drivers. You just said California was the same to you, and he was giving you a threat. But now it's California drivers. I know they're crazy. Oh, whatever. That wasn't me. It was a dude in front of me. He was in my way. It wasn't the other way around. He was in my way. And oh my god. It's like every time I play this game, I get into crashes. It's like these people want me to lose my 5 star rating. What is it? Like, how do I how do I know where I'm going here? It's B. I'm trying to find out how to do it. No, it's not why, because why would he would jump off the car, I think. I'm not going to press you to find out. But I think I'm going the right way. I mean, it doesn't tell me that I'm not. Like, I'm pressing the buttons. He would tell me himself. He's like, yeah, I go left. Okay. That was not my fault. Like, I just want to hear him say it. Yo, go left. Yo, go right. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, he's going crazy, crazy. You know what? I gotta look the map. I, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh, look, I'm going right away. So we go all the way here to Wilshire and then take a right. And right, let's go to Wilshire. Guys, I am a DA. I am more involved than everybody here. Even the police. I'm above the goddamn police. I missed my turn. I missed my turn. No. No, no, no. I get to go first. Did. Got you see job. somebody? <laughs> it's all your fault again. I get to right away of everything. I am the DA. Nothing else. Nothing less. The DA of everything. Everything that happens here, I know about it. 
every little thing. All right, let's cry. We're going to California. California love over here. Oh look, it's my old office. It's my old workplace. I'm just going up to my office party. Gotta check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. No, I don't know the way. What the hell? Oh, it's over here. The elevator's like right over here. And then first door on the right. Boom. Excuse me, it looks like you press the second one. So it should take like a short fly up there. Can I move around? Oh, I can. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Yes. A longitude and latitude. There you go. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? There you go. I'm knowing everything. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Yeah, my best friend's here. My best friend. That's my best friend. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more correct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shout of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Legion Fields developments? I ran it somehow. Flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffen GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. That man means yes. That means... And that means we are getting help. Someone is helping us. Oh, we're already at the Hall of Records. Let's go. We're almost done. Hello there. You need some help there, sir? 
The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Just up the goddamn stairs. I feel like I couldn't have by myself. I didn't need your help for that one.